So today we're going to be talking about how you can use lucid dreaming to improve real life skills and actually improve at them in real life. So the way this works is like this. When you do something, when you do something in real life, like walking down the road, playing an instrument, uh, practicing a martial art, in your brain certain neurons fire, neurons fire, and the connection between them grows stronger the more you do that thing. That's why when you practice something you improve at it over time, right? Practice makes perfect. Now the, the thing is, when you do the thing in real life and the neurons fire and the connection gets stronger, that exact same process happens when you dream about doing the thing or when you think about doing the thing. So the reason this is important, okay, and this is probably one of the most important videos about lucid dreaming that you'll watch on this channel, um, is that when you lucid dream about doing something, you really do strengthen the same connections in your brain as you would strengthen if you really did the thing in real life. So that means you can improve at real life skills just by dreaming about them. Now let me explain a few things first of all. I'm going to teach you exactly how to do this in a second, but first I need to explain how it works and why it works. Okay? So <clears throat> there have been studies, and I'll try and put a link in the description, uh, showing that when you practice something in real life and practice it in a lucid dream, okay, that's the important part of the and, you improve more than you would if you just practiced it in real life. So what this means is that it means two things. Firstly, it means that you can improve just by lucid dreaming about doing something. But it also means that you have to also practice it in real life. So the simplest form of this is like this. Okay. Let's say you're a martial artist. Let's say you do judo. Okay. And you want to improve. You have to practice it in real life and in a lucid dream to get the benefits. If you only practice it in a dream, you're not going to improve, or you're, you're going to improve like a very tiny amount. And if you only practice it in real life, you're just going to improve as you normally would. So, but then when you practice it in a lucid dream as well, you get almost double the benefits. You improve almost twice as fast just by dreaming about doing it. So this gives you an edge over your competitors. It gives you extra time, extra practice time. You can use this for whatever you want. You know, may, let's say you're studying for an exam and you want to practice writing. I mean, it doesn't work so well for writing, but it can work, let's say, if you've got a performance coming up or a public speech. You're about to give a speech to a lot of people. You can practice that in a lucid dream, and you, I can guarantee you, you will improve, and it will be noticeable. So, it can't be used for everything, okay? But it can be used for things like uh, anything physical, anything that involves a a muscle memory connection or a hand-eye coordination, anything that involves um, the same movements, anything that you need to perfect, like for example driving, the, the physical movements associated with driving can help with improve those. Uh, it can help with martial arts, with physical activities, with um, writing, almost anything really. So, here's how you do it. Before you go to bed, immerse yourself in your thing. So, if it's climbing, you want to improve at rock climbing, okay? Immerse yourself in climbing, watch climbing videos, think about it, and visualize yourself very clearly climbing with like um, a super, super enhanced skill. Imagine yourself really excelling at whatever it is. Imagine yourself competing and being like the best in the world. And really make sure that you visualize it vividly feel what it will be like. Imagine that you are an expert climber and sort of get a sense of how it would feel, what you'd be thinking, how you'd move your arms, your legs, your muscles, how it would all work. And that's going to really help you. So do that for 15 to 20 minutes. Then when you enter the lucid dream, do it again. But this time, take slightly more risks. Okay, so let's say you're having a lucid dream about climbing a mountain and in real life, in, in normal life, you would um, be a bit, a bit slower, you maybe wouldn't take as many risks, you wouldn't go for as many footholds that are risky. In a lucid dream, go for the most risky route you can, and imagine yourself doing it clearly and, and doing it well. Because in a lucid dream there's no danger, you can't hurt yourself, you can't fall, uh, so why wouldn't you? And it's really important to get in your mind, uh, practice doing hard things, doing difficult things like climbing a really difficult route, okay, or performing a really difficult throw if you're doing judo, whatever it is, 
whatever's really difficult for you in waking life, practice that in a lucid dream. Because like I said, the same neurons will fire, the same connections will be built in your mind, and as far as your brain's concerned, you're actually doing it. It can't tell the difference. So, when, so you do that, uh, you have a lucid dream, and you practice whatever it is, practice the most difficult aspects of it in the dream, and then when you wake up, and this is, again, almost as important as the whole, the rest of the technique, when you wake up, you need to strengthen it again, so you need to, before you even open your eyes, if you can, think back on the last night's uh, dream. Imagine what happened, visualise it, consider how it felt, and then when you finally do wake your eyes, wake your eyes up and, and you know go about your day write it down in your diary write down exactly how it felt and then read it again and so that over time you're building up this this idea this very clear picture of how it will be how it will feel when you do improve at that skill and that's pretty much all it is guys you just do that and over time I'd say over two to three weeks maybe even a month or two you will notice a really big improvement in whatever it is you're practicing uh, just one final reminder though, you do have to also practice it in real life. This isn't going to only work if you practice it in your dreams. You can't just uh, pick up a new language in your dreams without practicing it as, as well in real life. You can improve, and it does make a huge difference. It's almost like doubling how fast you improve, but you can't only learn something in the lucid dream. So I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. So please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next time.